So if you ever have the same problem as us and you can't find a locker, go through the Cube supermarket in Kyoto train station and then uh, they'll have a locker room and if that's full then you can also use uh, the luggage. Uh, it's like, um, you know, it's like a shop where they look after your stuff and it's like a luggage. Blah, 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 I forgot what it's called. Anyway, it's B1. So yeah, that took some time. We only have like a few hours in Kyoto so I think we're gonna go to uh, Fushimi, Fushimi Inari and uh, if we have time somewhere else uh, we'll probably not eat here but we'll take a bento so yeah at the entrance of Fushimi in Ali Shrine and you know there are a lot of stairs so uh, we're, not probably, we're probably not gonna have time to go all the way to the top but we'll definitely try and get some good um, shots. Absolutely beautiful. I love this place. If anyone's seen Memoirs of a Geisha, you'll know what I'm talking about. Ugh, when she runs down and all the dreams come true. It reminds me of that. It's so stunning here. This is what you don't see on Instagram. All the people. So we're in Fushimi Inari Shrine, inside here. We found a nice empty area, so uh, we thought we'd take some photos and videos. Um, so as you can see, these are all the people who donated a shrine to uh, this area. And what they did is each single person would write on these before donating them. And the sheer number of them, there's thousands and thousands of people who have donated. So it's got a beautiful atmosphere. It's lovely. I love this place. It's very rare that you can find a little bit of emptiness. So as you can see on this side, there are the dates of the donations. And donations can range from around 400,000 yen for a small gate to up to 1 million yen uh, for larger gates. And that's around $10,000 about seven thousand pounds so there are a total of 120,000 steps here so that would take around two to three hours to climb to the summit and back and we don't have time for that today but if you do have time do go to the top because there are less crowds less people and you'll be able to get um, more photos and just really relax a little bit more because it does get very crowded especially close to the entrance I saw that to be a geisha could be a stepping stone to something else a place in his world Thank you, 
ませんお待たせいたしましたごめんなさいありがとうございますおきにお、oh, that is so good、oh. So we got、um, strawberry shaved ice with milk I'm not being weird, it's all falling off at the side Second destination, we're in Gion in Kyoto, and、uh, following on from where we were last at、uh, Fushimi Inari.、Uh, it's a little bit of a、uh, love of mine. <laughs> I'm re I really like geishas, and this is the geisha district.、Uh, geishas are、uh, basically a little bit like hostesses, but、um, a lot more you know, elegant. They wear their kimonos.、Um, this is old fashioned. Many years ago, and they'd have their white faces and have their hair piece.、And、they'd use wax to keep their hair back.、Um, some really interesting stories actually about what happens.、Um, I think years ago, it actually used to make them go a little bit bald because of their hair being stretched back so much. And so they would paint their faces and paint、um, an arrow at the back of their neck, unless、um, their When they're Michael, I can't remember. I think they fill it in when they're real geisha, though. So we're in Gion, we're looking around. It's not too busy, a little bit busy,、uh, but there's loads of little shops and restaurants around here. I definitely recommend coming here. And as you can see, the buildings are all made of wood.、Uh, so I know that the government helps as well with、uh, maintaining this area. They have done it for many years. And I think it's paid off because it's timeless. You walk here and it's like, you know, walking back in time a little bit. So I'm really, it's, it's breathtaking to see how, how the buildings are well、um, restored in some cases or maintained. It must have been very challenging to do actually.、Um, I've heard from some of the locals、um, in the past that it's actually very rare to see geisha around this area. Maybe in the evening you might be lucky,、um, but you could stay here a long time and never see one.、Um, but I think times are changing. I've heard in the last you know, three years they've been a little bit more I don't know, visible, <laughs> let's say, outside. But what's interesting is in the side streets it says that you can't take、um, photos and videos because it's private roads. That could be, you know, because it's residential, people live in there. It could also be to protect the privacy of geisha.、Mm.
pretty early, but uh, we have to get our Shinkansen back to uh, Tokyo. So we're going from Gion to Kyoto Station. We're going to go pick up some souvenirs or miyage, uh, some you know little treats, and then head back. And you know how it is. We don't want to be in a rush, so we're heading back just a little bit early so we can get our lovely stuff. But yeah. Today was awesome. Even for a short time, we can still see some things. So we definitely recommend it. Even if you're short for time, you can at least visit one place. Aww. So these apparently are some of the most famous um, souvenirs from Kyoto, and it's like mochi with uh, red bean paste in the middle, but. Uh, these ones have got different flavours, they've got strawberry, um, what's this one, red bean paste, and this one is black sesame, which is interesting, so we're going to try one. This is Kyoto beer with matcha, oh my life, I can't even imagine. Collecting our luggage. Yeah, it's very nice and very soft. 